Hey guys, um, tonight we're actually going to be making another thing, um, that will be s'more milkshakes. Yeah, we were thinking about doing a giant s'more thing earlier, then I got to thinking, hmm, that's going to be a little bit too much. Then, I had the idea to do s'more milkshakes. Yeah, you get the s'more... Um, coffee stuff and the s'more alcohol and I figured, hmm, nobody's done the milkshake yet. Yes, they have. Well, they have, but we're going to make a homemade one tonight. So therefore, I got graham crackers, mm -hmm. yummy, little bit of a twist with a Rocky Road ice cream, rock on, literally. Um, I decided to go with the giant marshmallows. Um, probably won't use these since I already has it in the ice cream. But we're actually going to do, um, a campfire and roast them. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, whatever. Because it's a bit too dark out for us to actually go start it. Because the yeah. ice is so much out there. Yeah. And, of course... You gotta have a little bit of milk. I bought two of these, so hopefully that'll be enough. Um, he needs some milk. Yeah, I got milk. He needs some milk too. <laughs> anyway, I also have my mixer cup for the milkshake maker. There goes the milk. He needs milk. And of course, yeah, I have the milkshake <laughs> machine. Um, I'll actually throw it all together, show you guys how it's made, and show you guys how it looks. Let's do it. But first, I need to get to an outlet to actually plug it in to make it run better. Oh, yeah. Of course. Oh, yeah. Um, anybody got a spoon? Got a spoon? I need a spoon. Need a spoon. Thank you. Spoon, spoon, spoon. Well, I spoon. got a spoon. He just dropped the spoon. Hey. Yeah, this is not so. Yep. Okay. That Good enough for me. No. First. <laughs> yeah, scoop it. Then you scoop it again. Pretty much, you know, I'll get it to where. You have a fairly good amount of ice cream in there. Or your uh, satisfaction. Yeah. Uh, more ice cream makes it a little bit thicker, less ice cream, a little bit thinner. Either or, it'll taste good. Mm. Yeah, I like to make mine a little thicker. There we go. Yeah, that's about four scoops of ice cream in there. And of course, you gotta add a little milk. Make it a bit easier. And, you know, ice cream floats. Better off with a root beer float, but hey, like any joke. And last but certainly not least, Graham Caracas. Hey, Mickey, you want to do me a favor? Yeah. Plug this in, make sure it works. Yeah, make sure there's a clear spot over there. Now this one is actually a little bit more fun. You take the graham cracker, you break it, you buy it, then you eat it. But you don't stop there. You crush it right in.
it's better off if it's more of a powder, but got a machine that'll take care of the rest. If you want, you can add two into it, um, depending on how much you really like it. And if you want to get uh, crushed out a little more, you can actually put it in a bag and uh, beat on it. That way you get uh, a, b a better crush out of it and more of a powder. Alrighty, this way we'll mix it right up. Nope. Gotta get that in it. Uh, and you want to start it low, of course, because otherwise you'll have a mess. That's loud. Yeah. It can be very loud, annoying, stuff like that, but... Now, uh, add some toppings if you want. And if you wanted to, you can actually add a little whipped cream to it, sprinkle on a little more of your, um, graham crackers. Nah. Mm -hmm. Um, since it's already had to, I'm not going to add that into it. Um, if you really wanted to, you know, top it all off. Grab a marshmallow, it'll actually be really tasty. Uh, if you can open the bag, of course. Well, I can open <laughs> the bag. The question is, can the bag open itself? And of course, you know, it works a little bit better with smaller marshmallows. But hey. There but, you go. Yep. Got a big Floyd marshmallow in it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Try it out. See how tell me how you like it. We'll keep you posted. <laughs>